week, hustle nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO in the building, man. It's going down, man. Yes, hey, man, we on the set, man. I got my boy Cash, and guess what, man? A special guest. This is one of these Dallas niggas, man, that don't really need no introduction. If you in the North, man, if you been riding around, man, and you and she fly popped on, nigga, <laughs> you knew who it was, man. <laughs> JB in the building. Hey, you in the building. Man, I'm in the building. What's up, man? man? What's going on, man? Man, whole lot of getting to it. What's up, man? man? I mean, you know, last time you was over here, I seen you, you had short hair, nigga. I did not know who you was. They sent me the picture. I'm like, who the hell is this nigga? Nah, yeah, And yeah. then when they say, she fly, I said, oh, hell, that's <laughs> my boy. Wait a minute. Let me see that again, you know? <laughs> I had to switch it up. Like, I mean, I'm JB, obviously, still, but I go by Jake Bailey because, you know, it's, you, when you go to YouTube and type up JB, the Jonas Brothers come up. Okay. So, I said, so I'm like, I got to be a, distinguish it a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? So... That's we live. switched it up and switched up to her because you got to reinvent yourself. So, yeah, and it's been working. Wow. You know, like Samson, the hair gives you strength, man. Yeah, yeah, real. yeah, yeah. I always just had a lot of love and uh, uh, for you because of the respect. You came up around my family. Right. You know, a lot of niggas don't be knowing. They, they ain't tied to the streets. Yeah. We've been, uh, we been, like, he ain't from Dallas, nigga. I've been there for you niggas was born, though. Uh, nah, for you real. Know, like, I was here in the, in the, 80s, nigga. Yeah. Like, well, come on, man. Let me make it. You know what I'm saying? Right but I just I always seen you, as, and you was always respectable. So I commend you for that. Every time that I've met you, you've been a stand up person. You've been the same guy. So that's that's commendable. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Vice versa. You yeah. know, that same energy. It just is reciprocate. So yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Let's 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 get back into and, and Cash is in the building, man. What's up, Cash? Hey, what's good? What's good? So, yeah, if y'all don't know now, you know, nigga. Yeah, Cash yeah. is coming on the show, baby. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And that boy for. Hey, that's the prime cli- prime time click original right there. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah, sir. yeah, yeah. The road. <laughs> Boy, it's like it gets better and better, right? Yeah, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but man, you know, uh, did you ever you ever listen to uh, she fly and all that back in the day? Oh, for sure. Yeah, uh, she fly all down the Prairie View everywhere. Yeah, you know what for I mean? sure. So, yeah. yeah. Now JB he was solid stomping around. I yeah. met him with Draw a couple times. So yeah, did yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man, that's live, man. So we want to go back a little bit, JB. Just give us a whole introduction <coughs> on who you was, man. Where was you? Where was you raised up at originally? Man, I raised in the, in, the, in North Dallas. You know, uh, I went to school in the Grove. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on Masters and Comstock and Spruce, but um, you know, Mama wanted to go to that way. You know how it be when they get a look, some they want to go on where the white folks at. So <laughs> um, we went back to the North, but. Um, yeah, I've been been rapping for as long as I can be rapping, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't take it serious to um really about around 16, 17 and um hooked up with Lucha Nam and just kept moving forward with it, you know what I'm saying? And and made my name in the streets first on just some getting to it, holding it down from my section and um it started bubbling. I took it serious, made a couple records, you know what I'm saying, that gave, gave, made me stand out, you know what I'm saying? I did the sheet fly, it gave me some success regionally. And then I just kept uh, pushing, but you know the music went popping like that after she fly. So I had to do some more shit. And then, well, let me let me just break down that she fly whole situation, like the beat, the producer. How did it come together? Um, on a cool, bro, I'm gonna tell you. Um, I was I was I was just I had a record marching up the block. You know what I'm saying? That was like the first video from the note from somebody moving. It was all everybody rapping now was in that video before they were pretty much rapping. And um, so after that did something, but I was in the spot, you know what I'm saying? And I went to Club One, when Club One was jumping like one weekend, and um, DJ Q was DJing, and he dropped that Dougie, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But it was before I knew it was Dougie. I'm just standing against the wire rolling up a blunt. And I heard the beat come on, and I saw every girl in the club get up and start running. And I'm like, I'm like, God damn, what the hell beat is this? It just stuck in my head. So next day later, a couple of days later, I'm at the spot, just listening to the radio, just doing what I'm doing. And then I hear Vita Loca like, um, this is one of the hottest records out, uh, Dallas on, Lil Will. Mm. And the beat came on, and I was like, damn, that's Lil Will shit. This nigga was just in my my video. I mean, this whole bullshit, you know what I'm saying? He nigga, you know, getting to it. So I had uh, called up one of my producers, shout out to Keys, you know what I'm saying? Um, pimping Keys, he from the H, but he moved down here back then and started, you know, making a name for himself. And we sat down for a couple of hours and went through some beats. And the She Fly beat came, you know what I'm saying? It had that 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 type of feel that I felt in the club. So I took that beat. He was like, somebody just left the studio before I came, and they skipped over that beat. I was like, shit, I want it. So I got the beat. Uh, 
little chick out fuck with that time. We sat in the car just smoking. I was trying to come up so I'm like, man, these niggas out here dancing, making these dance records. But I ain't no dance now. I can't dance. So I got to do some shit that, that I can relate to. You know what I'm saying? So I like, I fuck with the bitches, though. So I'm going to make something <laughs> for those. Boom. We sitting in there for a couple of hours, and it just popped up. And then I rolled to my partner house in Grand Period. Like, now I think I got one. I, you know, I went and recorded it. And she was like, yeah. And we just, see the shit just took out. And like, wow. And I knew it was a blessing because at that time, it was like, damn near everybody rapping in Dallas had a record that was making noise. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> It was that record stood out with 10, 13 other banging records from the city, and I was like, "Damn, them motherfuckers really doing something." Mm -hmm. But you know, um, I don't know if you're familiar with um, the situation I was involved in with that record on no, the label I was no, with. No, I, I, I'm, I'm here for. Yeah, I was um, and uh, fucking with um, the Vato Turo with the Rich Mind shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, everything was good. And see, people think like I say, Turo shot one video. As I, I was an artist, but we was in partnership too. You know what I'm saying? And um, he shot the marching up the block video. So when um, I came over to see Fly Record, cause I was going on the road traveling, just had my van. I had to just pass down CDs. Just we out in Miami, just doing everything that was popping, just building up the you know from ground up. And um, they was telling me on the road, like, bro, you rap too street. You make your records for the street niggas too much. You need to get something for the masses and kind of open up. So he listened to Plies album, he dropped, you know, he had that shorty and that Neo, that's track, you know, so I'm just thinking like, you know, need to, that's, then that's how the sheep fly came. After I came back, Dougie shit popping out, like, yeah, I need to make something for the girl, but um, he didn't like the record, you know what I'm saying? So I, I put my own money into pushing the record, and it wasn't until the record started to make noise, he wanted to come behind, but we still on, we still in business together. And then, um, that Dougie was already gone, and Lil Will now vouched for me with Asylum. And they told Asylum that I was, you know, up and coming and we'll So we had a situation with them. Turo get telling them, like, shit, nigga, we want a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Man. And I'm like, bro, we ain't sold not a record. We we need the machine. Let's just get in and we'll do it. So we couldn't see out eye, and then shit, he, 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 he didn't want me to fuck with them. And and I was like, shit, I, I don't want to just stay in the same box. We need to expand. We got to, you know, look what the Dougie doing. We got. But we different people. We can we might make it a different and she ain't wanna fuck with it. So I was like, get my paper so I can go. And then um that shit happened with Spain. And shout out to my nigga Spain, he just got out. This was over you here. know what I'm saying? Yeah. He um that shit happened with him and he had to go do that shit. So them niggas up in New York were like, We don't fuck with you, Dallas niggas, y'all niggas too crazy. Like Turo Collin putting cease and desist out on the record, you saying he don't own it, then these niggas going to jail for getting that thing and we can't fuck with you niggas. So they just stopped fucking with the whole project. And then I was like, fuck rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, Man. I'm just going to be on some more shit. You think that's that's kind of the game at startup? It's going to be some bumps and bruises, ain't it? Nah, every, every sure. time, yeah. You can't really get around it. Nah. When you first um, made She Fly, how'd you know that you had motion? And what, like, your first successful show, how much was that and what you did with that money? Well, the first successful show, I would say, would I thought when I had every girl in the club, Sang the song, but I started getting paid after that. Yeah. But um, and I was like, I think I was at like seventeen hundred, eighteen hundred travel feet in, yeah. in a show at that time. Yeah. And but um, definition DJs at that time they was dominating the the club scenes as far as the coalition DJs. I mean, as a court, as a group of DJs at once. So once they had that club, what's the name of that club? Uh, DMX, I think. Shit, nigga, Sunday I went in there and. Played that record, bro. I couldn't believe it. Like, they were breaking it, but he dropped that one night, bro. And I was, girls started screaming. Like, I was like, boy, what the? And that was it. That was, you on. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't believe it, though. So after that, I started getting the shows. We started moving and grooving throughout the Southwest region, everywhere. And like I say, once it started to spread outside, that's when they came in. And then they stopped messing with it. Then I ain't had a budget at the time to do what they were going to do and keep it moving. Cause you can have a hit record, but it's gonna have to go to another level. That's when people typically, like you say, want to come invest, but you gotta have motion. Mm -hmm. and, um, so I was just like, fuck it, and start doing some more shit. Well, I mean, I think it's just something that, like, a lot of times people don't enjoy that that success. Like, you did something that most niggas trying to do and will never do. Right. Mm -hmm. And they say they hot, and just because they got a a a, a few little old likes and follows, sound bites or whatever, mm -hmm. they not really seeing that what you seen right 
You know, they faking views. Exactly. They're doing right. all these things right. that they can't. You lived in the real world. Right. You was dealing with real people, real, real success. Right, right, right. You seen it. You felt it. Some people never feel that in these days and times. Yeah. And yeah. Some will, but a lot of it's a very low percentage. It makes it look away yeah. on yeah. the Internet, and it makes it look like they're feeling that success, but they may not be doing them or going to strip clubs or anywhere just performing and making it look good. Making it look or good. going to a couple of shows and making you think, but... And they got the followers piped up. They got all of the ads bought up, yeah. and they look in a certain part, but they never ever felt what you felt. And and, and I'm glad that real? To say that's, that, real. that's real though. And the way you put it, I, I never put it in that perspective, but it's 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 definitely a difference. You it's know what I'm saying? Very much a difference. So um, I'm just like you say, it's a blessing to experience both, and and but the transition was a whole nother month in itself because, like you say, when we was doing it, it, was, it wasn't no. They knew my record, but they ain't know my face. There you go. You know what I'm saying? That was so, the difference. And it's like with social media now, like you say, you can do so much to fake the perception. It kind of overshadows when you just keep coming from the ground, keeping real. So you compete. The competing get harder mm -hmm. because you, if you just going straight and narrow, that ain't entertaining enough. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? You got to be with the shits. And, that, and I mean, if you ain't with it, then you ain't with it. But... It's a lane for everything, so I just stay in my lane. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about it though. Niggas fly like Drake and them. Mm -hmm. Drake and them done figured it out. They can still be flying in. They ain't gotta deal with all that mess that niggas on the low, you know, digging at the bottom of the barrel, dealing right. digging with. Right. They 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 got a whole different essence to where they still can keep their whole dignity and you know what I mean? Exactly. They 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 pizzazz, man, and they ain't even doing all this trying to get on here and rah rah, none of that. They just basically Celebrities mm -hmm. who make good music. Exactly. It's like when you get up that on that level, you can be that thing that you experienced again, but exactly. on a whole nother level. level. Am I right? Now you're right. You you're ain't right. worried about the niggas don't like you anyway. You're definitely exactly. not worried about that. You don't even want to deal with that. Yeah. Exactly. You more just want to deal with this nigga, my star power. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you ain't even worried about that stuff. So down here where you see these other artists that that I sometimes end up having to deal with. They trying so hard to be something that that they haven't even understood how to accomplish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Am I right? No, right. So they just really trying to make figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. But I like the fact that you know we do have a, a solid uh, foundation of artists here in the Dallas market, whether people want to uh, admit it or not. You yeah. know, when you look at the Yellow Beeses and when you look at all the different things, even late great uh, Mo Three, man. or if you look at any of these guys, man, the, the the JBs, or if you go back and look at the Little Wheels, or if you look at, um, you can keep going, Don Chief, yeah. uh, any of these guys, man, my boy Twisted, Twisted Black, yeah. the Row, you know. Yeah. All of these things show you who we are. Whether you want to accept it or not, it's who we are. It's the history of the city. When you look at what you see now happening and you say, man, it ain't hot like it was. Nigga, okay. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. It got a history. Mm -hmm. It's got you. You just gotta lay a foundation so people can understand the history. Mm -hmm. But other than that, you got a history here. Almost, yeah, you know. What I mean, you got Almost the definitely. Gator Mans, man. You come on, man. You got. I can Everybody. keep naming yeah, them. Yeah. DSR. Uh, you got the uh, DSR. You got the what's Stampede. that boy? You got yeah, the, uh, Stampede. It's a lot of them. That boy Black. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I'm rally saying? Rally boys. I mean, uh, rally, rally boys. boys all that. So you got a. This is who we are. Right. Right. When it comes to the Dallas market, this is what it is. Right. I think a lot of times people be trying to just talk, just to be talking, because at the end of the day, these other people are going to come up. Like, JB, you might reestablish and reinvent. 2 Chainz did it. Nah, I done it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm, saying. I'm, just, I'm just giving I it to that, you. Yeah. Like, like, not only that, I'm just making examples, but when you look at, like, a lot of different people, right. and you start to see the, the flow or the fluctuation, like the big, big extra plugs. I'm just mm -hmm. telling you how this, this thing ain't going to stop. Nah. That's all I'm saying. Nope. I'm saying this thing here is going to continue to overlay yep. and continue to move. Where will you be in the scenario? You see what I'm saying? Go ahead and talk about your reinvention where you reinvented and came back with something that basically you feel like you got you something on the same level of she fly. No, no. And I mean, in I that had, sense, no, because I know, you know, I'm being on reading or listening to the books online and just tapping in, but you got to reinvent. You know what I'm saying? But I, I always think about that. Like, I don't, Try not to put no age. I say you too old to be doing dumb shit or the same shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like when I when I I know in my heart and what I've been doing, 
I ain't put all I had into doing music. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was always kind of like something to do type shit. I was, I wasn't focused. So when I went to school to try to discipline myself because I know that I can do it, but if you don't discipline yourself, you ain't gonna be able to do shit. Right. I went to school to, to, to just, I ain't even graduated. I just wanted to see, can I do some shit that I don't want to do? You know what I'm saying? So I went to school, got my GED, went to school, and I was like, what you want to be since you in school? You got to pick pick some shit. You know what I'm saying? I was like, fuck it, I'm going to try a firefighter. Because being a firefighter, nigga, it used to, it's kind of like a rapper in a sense. People love what you do. Just the dignity, the courage, you know, and it's, you, you're never in there say, fuck the fire department. They're going to say, fuck the police. So I, I started doing that to get my mind right. So after I did that and passed and did the, the academy and they was like, wait, wait, wait. I was like, shit, if I can do this at a high level, I might as well apply this shit to what I want to do. So I started back doing my music. And I mean, just the transition, like I got another record, but it's not just about me. Like I like to write music and try to help people. So I got a few artists and, and my, my female artist right now, Diamond Kane, she got a, we got a record that's- Yeah, I seen her. Yeah, that she, she, she heating up, making noise. So like just the reinvention, I feel like you just go out and just do your homework learn research and if it's in you you can make some music is like timeless i mean if you if you're not make music it's gonna be good no matter where you at who you what you change to what's your name you just make some shit that people gonna get in the vibe to so i just i feel like two chains that that's what keep me like you can do this shit nigga was titty boy they ain't two chain but it wasn't until i know that shit i'm finna really do this and i don't do nothing else but music now back then i had so much shit going on i couldn't focus on just music so let me let me ask you this: Are you um, um, how, what do you think about the the, the blogging and the interviewing that's going on so predominantly in the Dallas market? I mean, it's it's, it's biased in a sense. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's just who you know. Okay. So you know, people like you say they ain't really just going for the truth. They just going for what gonna run the views up. So at the end of the day, I mean, it's about who you know. So I, I mean, but I don't knock nobody for how they move. But it, at the end of the day. Like like you said, everything ain't what it seems. You got a nigga on this podcast, this podcast, this, 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 but nigga ain't really hot, though, or nigga ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Or it's just you might have some shit going just because you don't know a nigga, he ain't, you know, want to fuck with you, no matter if it's supposed to be for the culture. So, like a DJ, if you bring a DJ good music, his job is to play it, but just because you don't want to pay a nigga or you ain't, it's just so, it's politics. So, I mean, it is what it is, but as a entrepreneur, artist, a businessman, I don't focus on, I just try to figure out how to get get through and get what I need to get, you know what I'm saying? So, if I gotta play this role, I do that. You know, grease this hand, I do that. You know me, you fuck with me, it's gonna come to me. And just do whatever it takes, but stay the same nigga though. That's why I say Recipes Mo 3, he gave a nigga that shout out on real life. Like, you know, nigga JB ain't never hated, nigga been the same nigga. And that shit, kinda like, you know, even if motherfuckers don't wanna tell you, it's after. So go get that shit, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, it's, if it's for you, it's for you. So he did that motherfucker calling my phone, like, you ain't hear what bro say about you, dude. You know shit, so let a nigga do what he do. I'm going to come to your podcast if it makes sense, and then obviously for you too, so shit. I don't knock a nigga for what he do, but I think it's biased, though, at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it's, 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 I think it's, it may be biased, but it's needed. You need a noise of tracks. You need something yeah. to where, I think it's something to where, I mean, you gotta realize people flying in. You seen that last, people flying in to be on Boss Talk, to be honest with you, and I think that's a dope thing. Yeah. Um, ever since I started, it's crazy. But at the end of the day, it's- No, oh, but you moved, you, yeah, I ain't but, not, no, no, not no, 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 else. no, 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 I get it, good, yeah. I get it, but I'm just saying, I'm just trying to show you how the fact of, the even the ones that don't do right, you know what I'm saying? They make the one to do right look good. You, you know what I'm saying? You need them. You know yeah. Saying? yeah, it's needed. So, yeah. so like I look at everybody as I see it, but then I don't gauge it because I I see I see it, but I, I don't stare at it. You know, you know how you don't disrespect someone when you're a woman. You see yeah. me with a woman like I'm. She cute, but you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna stare because nigga, that's a little different, you know. <laughs> so I don't look at everybody else because I don't want to be like nobody else for sure. You know what I mean? So that's why it ends up I got cash on here. JB right. might be on it. It's always gonna be different because we got to keep something going for our culture, for right. our people, man. Right. And, and now the ones who do it crazy, I can't rock. I can't rock with it. But the one thing I can say to people that usually be with me is people that God didn't connected me to, bro. And they, it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? But if it don't make sense, I don't do it. Because I don't have to. You, don't. Right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's the bad part. People like, he don't. It's one dude had the audacity, I believe I seen it. He was like, oh, this was probably about eight months ago. 
he don't never have local people on his show. I was like, nigga, I have more local people than everybody else. Yeah. And I do more shows than everybody. Because at the end of the day, I like our, pe our people. Some of my customers have been on this show. Mm -hmm. Some people are just, just random people. I don't look at it that way. I would never stipulate it down to just celebrities or nothing like that. Everybody can come. I serve a God that say whosoever will. Let him come. Hey. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> I serve a God that say, whosoever will. You know what I mean? So it don't matter to me. What matters to me is that we, like even with, like I say, that that boy uh, 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 Strap, you know, getting killed the other day and his people coming back in here, you know, and, and he had been on the show. My main objective is to tell somebody that God love them and that they can be all right, they can make it through. And to be that light to where when they look back out of darkness, they can call me for stability and say, hey, man, I'm going through. And it's a bunch of them I do this with right now because I know already they got to look at me as somebody that I never showed them no flaw. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, I never showed you no flaw. Yeah. Right. And I, I and I stood up on, our, you know, 10 toes down just trying to make sure that we make sure that we, me and my wife and my team, make sure that we something that's reputable. You know what I mean? We need that. We need that. That's what we need in that in mind. That. And I, we, that's what we've been doing. If you've been over here, you yeah, know. Yeah, if, exactly. you, if you don't know, then you can find out. Exactly. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is about my boy today, though, JB, man. Just tell us about uh, just uh, the music that, you know, the, the, the ones that you would like to work with here and there. Do you like Big to Plug? Or, or do you like, who do you like the newcomers? I want to know about the newcomers. Who do you like? Who you seeing that you liking? Or you ain't really hearing nothing that you like in the streets out here? I, I ain't gonna say I don't like it. I mean, I, cause I ain't, I probably, I'm not tuned in. Not tapped yeah. in. I'm just a uh, tunnel vision. But I will say, um, Big X the plug. I, I just, you know, his name making noise and um, but like I say, Lil Q nine hundred. Lil Q nine hundred. Yeah. Um, I I believe he he a, a artist, a true artist. He got the voice, the the energy. You know what I'm saying? The charisma. So. I'm tuned in, and it's a handful of Dallas creative. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like um, we just need to, like you were saying earlier, just do it for that, and everybody come together. It'll be even better. But um, I've been I've been working. I just did a song with Lil Q9, and we got a video Thursday, and um, okay. it's um, pretty nice record. I'm working on a Jake from State Farm. Um, it's dope. Uh, I like that policy. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, I I just got out the studio with finesse two times. We did a video and I seen that. Yeah, so I've been um I, I've been tapping in as far as trying to get it to the point to where once I can build the lane, I can just start flooding. You know, flooding through. That's why like Diamond, she from West Dallas, born and raised, and she been with the music. Even when she fly, I used to go to Big T Pass that flies, and mm -hmm. she used to, you know, try to do her thing. And like I rap, we do some. So I had an ideal and hit up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, just been in contact over the years and. And just start taking off. So, I'm 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 kind of I say I'm kind of like you in the, in the sense. Just want to open up the open doors, up the and, door. and if I can has help somebody out along the way, shit, my blessing gonna come. Just I feel good, you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't all about me. I didn't had hit records and did shit, niggas then you know couldn't survive or ain't come back from it. Yeah. Made it hurt. So I feel like I got a bigger duty to do than just. Just want to be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't tap into a whole bunch of other shit. So what about what about? Go ahead. How you think the game changed from from back then to right now? Um, the social media did, you know, that obviously is the biggest thing. But um, like uh, I mean, it, it just changed, bro. You just it's adapt. I mean, the music, you know what I'm saying? Like the the boogie era. Then it went kind of like the you know the street shit a little bit. And I mean, it just it's it's just a whole different. Yeah, but it's pretty much the same, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's just different, like you g going out to get your club, I mean your record hot in the clubs, ain't as equivalent to having like a big social media, you know, but you gotta have a mixture of both, so it's kinda different, like, but it's a gift and a curse, so yeah. I just, like he said, I try not to focus on the bad wide change and just get with what I need to make it happen on the good part, you know what I'm saying? But. It no. definitely changed, but we are. It's, it's 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 a hell of a ride. You nah, know for real, <laughs> it's a hell of a ride, nigga. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think that uh, when I when I think about just the music in the Dallas market, man, I think it's an open lane. I still say that. I mean, if somebody come with a big hit right now, it, it's up, man. Because I mean, I mean, far as one that just take traction, you know, um, Yellow just had a, a, a album to drop and. 
I, I mean, it was cool, but it, I ain't just seeing it like you seen that early yellow. Yeah. yeah. To me, you know, I'm just being real. I'm, yeah, I'm agreeing. Yeah, but uh, yeah. but then uh, who else? You know, you. I'm just thinking of ones who who uh, I seen trap come. He came with some stuff, but it wasn't just yeah. uh, nothing that that that. that 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 one that he hit your girl, it wasn't like that. Yeah. So, uh, but, but like I said, the game changed though. You got you got. But they still solidified in what they do. They uh, still yeah. like, like you walk around the JBs, the, all of y'all, y'all know them. Oh, that's JB. Oh, yeah. that's Yellow. Oh, that's you know what I'm saying. You know them. But but it, the it, but the music. It's the social media kids though. The Earls, the Tay Money's, all them now. They going in. They going in. But still, you got to look at it's. It's still some. It's some. It's some raw stuff out here now. Oh yeah. All right. But like you say, rest in peace to Mo Three. I think he was the that one. I mean, you got to make the records. I yeah. feel at the end of the day, like basketball and changed up from the short shorts. Then they long, and it, it used to be just dribble two time pack. Now you crossing over, but the whole object still is to put the ball in the goal. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So the music. You it's a whole bunch of social media. This nigga buying this, buying that, but the objective is still to make good records that people want to buy, that people want to turn on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that keep me going. So when you say that it's an open lane, it's here for the taking, my partner tell me that all the time. Like, man, it's wide open. You can go yeah. get it. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and it ain't even going to get it because I didn't had it and watch other people have it and I just love to see it happen. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't that often in the D. You know what I'm saying? But it is open, but mate, you got to make them records. I think you're doing the right thing by jumping jumping on that one and, and working with the people who make it happen. Like uh, two time finesse two time is one of the ones that everybody watching right now, yeah. especially after he done what he did with Don Chief and all right. that in yeah, Dallas yeah. area. Niggas definitely watching. Right. I mean, you know, uh, you came up with the Lucha and and, and and Mr. Pookie and Mr. Pookie got shot. Uh, Mr. Lucha went to prison. JB, what's been up? I mean, you been all right. And I've been blessed. You man. see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just giving it to you real, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I mean, I've been God blessed. God been good to us. Yeah, yeah for, for shit show. But I mean, everybody, I mean, I done been through some shit, but it's like, I mean, we, that's just part of the, the life. You got to sacrifice. Like, my, I had my house and shit burnt up, you know man. what I'm saying? And um, my dog, rest in peace to my, I breathe right, right, right my dog, Rossi, she was the one who saved a nigga, and she died, what, August 4th. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I just got back from Atlanta and I've been out there networking with the radios, yeah. with the RGMB. They fucking with it out there. I got a couple shows coming up 23rd and 25th. So, I mean, I, I didn't sacrifice. I didn't lost some shit, but we, we don't count those, you know what I'm saying? Because, I, like I say, I didn't, it's motherfuckers that can't learn from the mistakes so or come back from that. So, if I'm still breathing, I keep moving, but they've been hella blessed. But I didn't, I didn't took my losses and transitioned and Got a studio built, I'm in there every day. But I think the biggest thing for me or for anybody that wanna accomplish something is not putting a hundred percent into it. You know what I'm saying? So Do you um and and I'll, I'll do you uh who would you wanna work with next? Because you know you gotta have that who would you like to work with next? Well, I mean, I'm work with. I'm gonna get a Glorilla on the track with. That's how. That's heavy. With, oh, with, with you, my, with your girl, uh, female artist. Yeah. So, um, that's what we working on. Cause I know it's about connecting, expanding. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. you say, they see this and hear this, and then they think you that, and then they tune in. Like, oh, he do, he do got something. Yeah. They won't even tune in unless you did this out chest. So, I'm now I'm at that level. You know what I'm saying? I didn't put my work in and did what I had to do. So you come up with the records and add to it. So it might work, it might not. But I seen Kevin Lair say. I always take risks, never play the game scared. You know what I'm saying? That's real. So I feel like shit, we can't, I don't know already, like you say, hey, lost, I can't lose. I'm just going to go. So I'm going to work with her next. And hopefully after that, when shit get the lining up, I got a record right now outside of Dallas. And they touching her too, but BDS, I'm at like 1,500 spins a week. That's yeah, it. They That's on nice. the way record. It's a, a remake to After Seven. Okay. Um. So that, that was my first. You like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was my first, you know, pull a video, a big dope video, you know, but. Then it's RGNB, you know, they just added it to 97.9. I got K104 interview Tuesday, and we, we just, it just moving. So I'm, and when working. it do take off, yeah, we working. Like I say, it ain't no, don't let nothing define you. She fly, you know, I had I always been able to make records, but it's about working. Like about you, working. Keep in motion. You know what I'm saying? Keep in motion. Yeah, yeah. What did you think about Boss Talk, man? You came over here a long time ago. Now we flipped it on you, man. Man, I love it. Like, <laughs> I, I came over here. We were working on that project, man, Puka Leroy. He was shooting a video. Yeah, that was that song where he said, it's a unique hustle. Yeah. It came out Boss Talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I go back nah, to Nah, I mean, say it's dope, but I, like you say, God, I keep everything in line. And then I see back then you was talking the same. Yeah. You know, helping the next man get on and doing it for the city. And, yeah. You know, trying to educate on financial literacy and, you know, all that. So then I come back and I'm like, God damn, this nigga got one of the hottest podcasts in the city, but this, this buddy shit. <laughs> but it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And like, and it just, it's a circle. Like, if you stay in motion like me, I come right back to you. I oh, working yeah, on music sure. then. Met up with you. Yeah. I'm back moving in motion. I'm back to you. So yeah, my brother and them always talk highly. They love JB. Yeah. Shout out Z to Zeke. Z and them yeah. love yeah. JB. Stacey and them love JB. They yeah. always man, man, that's my <laughs> little nigga, man. I'm like this nigga here. Who is he? They loved you though, and that's the cold part about the family. They they pick who they pick. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But them some solid, bro. them some yeah. solid dudes, man. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah, they, and, and thank you, man. That's family, man. But Real shit. you know, you family, cause we all been in the same circles for the for a long, for time. A long time. At North was something else, man. Yeah, Crazy. <laughs> North to changed a lot, <laughs> man. So, top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Number one, pop. Any genre, though. Pop. Oh yeah. Okay, number oh, two. Any genre. Any genre. Well, I'm, to me, what I like, and I'm, I'm, I'm going. It's, it's up to pop. you. Your top three, top pop. Anita Baker. Anita Baker, man, that's a bad one, right yeah. there. She had a bad attitude, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> she only did one album because her attitude is what they say. Now that ain't me. Yeah, right. No. Some people say that, but I love her. I, mean, I listen to her every day. Yeah, See, back you heard what I just said? Yeah, yeah. I, and, and my, my wife attests to it. If it ain't every day, it's every other day. I'm gonna throw some Anita on for you know. I'm just let it ride. It's something about the way she sang, mellow a nigga yeah, out. It's yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they say Michael Jordan used to listen to that song. Yeah, uh, in the game. When yeah, he, yeah, for yeah, every, giving you the best, the best that I, I got. got. <laughs> they say he used to make them niggas mad. He be saying it on the court, going in on them niggas. I like, yeah. I mean, that's my shit, too. So, yeah. <laughs> Number three. And, uh, man, I give it to Babyface. You know Baby face, yeah. man, that boy, man, come on, man, man. that nigga yeah. grown. That's yeah. a grown ass man. Yeah. 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 No, because because he know how to make records. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? and I and I that's what I try to. He'll make a record for a woman. You think he was a woman in his past life? He mm -hmm. just just know how to put you in that mode. So I I just like how good he is with his craft. Man, man, hold up, man. How can people get a hold of you if they looking to get it, get in touch with you? Hey, man, follow me on IG. You know I'm everywhere. Jay Bailey, follow me on IG. Eskimo Jake. And just uh, tune in to the radio. If you don't, go go stream my music. I'm on all major platforms. I got a project out now, Jay from State Farm, Black Monopoly. Um, I'm looking to drop the policy, though. That's the that's the one we going in with um, at the top, close to the top of the year. So, I mean, just keep your ears open. I'm coming. You man, did we get everything out of it? Nah, we got it, yeah. Man, we love you, brother. I love you, too. Hey, Come I on, appreciate man. you, man. Much Come success on, man. to you, baby. Stop playing, man. Let's get it. It's up, yeah. nigga. Holla at your boy, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk, man.